For this part of the demonstration, we're going to look at going into Inventor's Styles Editor and creating a revision table style that will use the columns we wanted to use mapped to the same properties that we've created in both Vault and Inventor and also in AutoCAD for this Vault revision table to work. So we're going to go into the Styles Editor. and we're going to go to the revision table section which I already have open. Now I want to just start a new one so I'm going to just use the the basic ANSI that's already opened up here and I'm going to click new. Now this will create a copy of the one that I am starting from so I'm going to have to rename it and then I'm going to have to change the columns to what I want them to be. So let's call this vault revision so that we recognize it in the menus as this being the one that we want to use with the Vault Revision Table tool. I want to add it to my current standard so that it's available to use. So I'm going to hit OK. And now in here I want to change, to, do we want to change the title at the top? I'm going to leave that alone because that will be like the header of the table and that's a pretty good title for the, the header. Uh, none of these other settings are anything that I wish to change at this point in time, but certainly when you're setting up your own, you're more than welcome to do so. What we're concerned with are the columns. So I don't want to use zone or description or date or approved because these are not going to be mapped to the same custom properties that we've created and will be using in our demonstration of the vault revision table. So I need to get rid of these. So I want to get rid of zone and description, date, and approved. Rev we are going to leave there because Rev will be mapped to the system property in Vault which is the revision and that needs to be on this table for it to work. So to add the rest of the properties we're going to click new property because you're not going to find these custom properties in the available properties list. We need to actually add them by the name that we gave them when we created them and mapped them in the vault. So I'm going to say new property. Click to add new property and if you recall we created properties called rev approved and rev author and click rev text and rev date. Okay, so now we are going to add these four checked properties and they are now in our selected properties in the table. We can rearrange the order. I want to have this one down below the author and that looks good. That's the order that I want. So we'll say OK. But that is not the way that I want these columns to appear. This is not the text that I want to show. So I'm going to take a look at the column settings for each column. Right click on that and the heading name, I don't want to have that rev author. I just want to say by on that one and I'm going to change that so that it is center justified in both the heading and the value and I want to I'm going to leave the column width at about an inch let's make it about an inch and a half just to be sure that we have enough space for somebody with a long name so we'll hit OK and we'll do the same here we'll change this one to center center and we'll just use the word approved This will be the name of the engineer approving the job and we'll give that one an inch and a half as well to make sure there's enough space. And then for the date we will just call that date. And I think an inch will probably be enough for that one. For the revision number I want to change that one as well. The rev is fine but I don't like the width. I think that's actually going to be a little bit too long. So we're going to make that about three quarters of an inch center it up and then for the text we're going to call this description and I want to make this one right justified or left justified am I sorry 
sorry about that and this is definitely not going to be enough space so I'm going to make that about three and a half so that's it we've got the columns set up we've got the headers renamed the way we want them we've got the width set up the way we want it I'm going to save this but in order for this to end up being our default revision table inside of Inventor, we also need to assign it to our object defaults. So we're going to come in here to the object defaults and scroll down until we find the revision. And there it is. Revision table is currently set to standard revisions. We don't want to use that table. We want to use the one we just created. So I'm going to set this to vault revision. And now that will be the default when we go to place a revision table onto the drawings. That will be the one that it looks for. So now I'm going to save and close, and we're good to go. That's all we need to do for this part of the demonstration, so we'll move on.